This week's question comes from Ellen Phoenix, and she wants to know how to persevere in the beginning when you don't have a lot of followers. Let's hear her question. Hi, this is Ellen Phoenix. Thank you so much for all the free content on your YouTube channel. It has helped me a lot. So my question is, how do you deal with starting out and no one knowing you and just having like 30 followers on Instagram? How did you deal with that? And how did you keep going? And do you have any tips? Thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks, Ellen. You didn't really say whether you want to be a personal brand or you want to be a marketer but I think most people want to be both. When I got started, I had clients and I had no Instagram account, but I did have a YouTube channel. And what you got to realize is that you want to work on a platform where you can answer questions that people are searching for. You see, no one's searching for things on Instagram. People read the feed. People watch the stories from the people they already follow. The reason people follow me on Instagram is because they like me on YouTube. It's not because they like me on Instagram. So make sure you use YouTube, TikTok, or a blog. Those are the three types of platforms where you can get a lot of visibility from people who don't know you. So that's one thing you need to start doing and not using Instagram to find new people. Now, having said that, 30 followers is quite a lot. If you were in a room and you had 30 people listening to you, you'd feel pretty excited. So we need to get excited about followers, even if there's not a lot, because it means people like what we say. You need to try and create things for other people and not for yourself. Get in the head of your future audience. What are they trying to learn? What do they need to know? What kind of motivation do they want? What kind of values do they have, right? You have to think about those things and start feeding people that, right? But one of the other tricks I did is I built a little group. I found six or seven people who wanted to learn from me, who didn't know that much about marketing. And I said, hey, let's do a Zoom call every Tuesday night and we'll just talk about digital marketing. Sometimes I'll do a presentation and I'll teach you something. And they're like, sure, it was free. Those people became sort of my fans, my the people who wanted my info. So I could think about them. I could think about, hey, what do these people need to learn? And I never stopped doing that. I've done over 80 Tuesday night calls at least. I haven't missed a single week for the last couple of years. And I still have that same call today. And now 20, 30, 40, sometimes 70 people have come to that call, a live call. You need a way to get closer to your audience. You need a way to connect with people. Instagram isn't enough. So make sure you think of some way where you can get real humans listening to you then they'll follow your Instagram as well. But at least you'll be connected to who you're trying to communicate to. When we just kind of put it out there, it can be pretty loose. It can be kind of ineffective. So you need to think very closely who you're doing this for. And you need to think about the questions they're already asking. And you need to make those kinds of content on YouTube or your blog. Either way, you're going to get ranked. You're going to start getting some traffic. Try to do things that no one else is doing. This is what I would do. I think this is what you should do. And I think our course content maximizer is going to help you because you are this week's chosen question, Ellen Phoenix. So I'm going to be sending you that course in the near future. And I think you're going to be able to put it to use. All right. So stay focused. Be patient. Keep stacking the digital assets. Keep climbing the mountain. Keep rolling the snowball. It takes a lot of time in the beginning, but once it's going, it's almost easier than anything else. This week's question asker is taking home Content Maximizer, our content marketing course for digital marketers. If you'd like to be the next winner of one of our programs, ask a question. You might be chosen. Go to yak.com slash rich and niche. Sign up. Easy. Ask me a question about digital marketing, brand building, online business. If I choose you, you'll win something and we'll feature you on the channel and the podcast. So make it a good question. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And may the algorithms be ever in your favor.